A well-cooked and tender meat makes an excellent meal, even with just a fresh salad. There are some tricks to cooking meats that are dispersed with a single fork stroke, such as Turkish delight. How about remembering these tricks, chief? If you want to cook a tender meat, you must choose the right meat. It should be a meat that has been rested for at least three days and is free of nerves. You should marinate it well and let it sit for a minimum of three hours besides marinating. While cooking, you must seal it correctly so that the juices remain in it, which will make the meat tender. Adding a few drops of vinegar while the meat is cooking will make the meat even softer. You should not add salt before the meat is cooked. This causes the meat to become tough. For a soft and Turkish delight like meat, you should prefer the meat of a young animal. As the animal ages, its flesh becomes tougher. The softest part of the animal is the meat in the sun-exposed dorsal area. No lean meat or very fatty meat will never do well. You should always choose medium-fat meats. After marinating the meat and keeping it in the fridge, you should wait for it to come to room temperature before cooking. You should always cook meat in a preheated pan or in the oven. You should first take the meat that you will cook in the oven in a large pot and add enough water and a little salt to reach the top. First you need to cook it on high heat, then turn down the heat when it starts to boil. When the meat is tender, you should transfer it to a baking dish with its juice. The oven must be preheated. According to your request on the meat, you can add yogurt, butter, or tomato paste. Then you should cook the meat until it is lightly browned. If you are going to add extra spices, you should add the spices 5 minutes before you take them out of the oven. You should take the diced meat in a pressure cooker. You should drizzle some water and oil on it. At this stage, you do not need to use hot water, as the pot is not hot either. You should close the lid well in accordance with the model of the pressure cooker and take it to high heat. After the first whistle comes from the pot, you should lower the heat and cook for 40 minutes on low heat. You should never open the lid until the pot has completely cooled down. Otherwise, due to the pressure inside, the meat may jump out of the pot and cause unwanted accidents. There is no doubt that you will make great tastes from your master's hands, my chef. Good luck to you already.